bloody meadow. Now, what does that conjure up for you today? War of the Roses, Tewkesbury, Gloucestershire? If it does, you'll be right, because that's our postcard today. <laughs> Now, Bernie, this is very soggy and boggy. We're here in the bloody meadow. Was it like this then? Uh, pretty much so, yes, but um, probably drier back in 1471. It was a dry season in the May of 1471, apparently, according to the man who... Chronicled it? Chronicled it with uh, King Edward, yes, who came in with King Edward's army. Let's tell everybody what we're on about. We're in Tewkesbury. We're uh, <coughs> half a mile out of the town. You brought me to this bloody meadow. What was going on before these armies met here? Give us the scenario, set it up for us. And basically there were two kings in England. Henry VI, who was totally incompetent, and Edward IV, who was a sort of distant cousin, who had an equal claim to the throne, or at least he thought he did. And they fought sporadically for 15 years over the throne of England. Um, Edward took it in a great battle at Towton. Yorkshire. Uh, yes. Know about that, yes. Huge bloodletting. Mm -hmm. And poor old King Henry was on the run for a while, then he was captured, and then he was banged up in the Tower of London for ten years. And Edward became King of England. He was a usurper king. Now, people would know this as the War of the Roses. They would, yeah. Uh, you are carrying a sword of the roses. Yeah. Which one are you fighting for? York? Yorkist oh, or no, Lancaster? I'm, I'm Lancaster. Pu purely um, a Gloucestershire man. Purely impartial. So the two armies met here. They encamped the day before? Um, well, the, uh, the Lancastrians uh, get here first. Um, basically, the, um, the old king was let out of the tower very briefly by Warwick the Kingmaker, who was a very well-known 15th century yes. person. Manipulator, had, yep. politician, yep. And Machiavellian. He'd, he'd, he'd originally supported Edward, who was his own cousin, and then he fell out with him, as these people do. So he decided to get poor old King Henry out of the tower and stick him back on the throne. So this results in a great crisis and a civil war. And this brings two great armies into the field, and they chase each other all, all the way around the West Country, and the Lancastrians are chased to here. They wanted to get into Wales. They wanted to cross the Severn into Wales to unite with their Welsh followers, but uh, they couldn't get across the, uh, the bridge at Gloucester. So they come here, they're hoping to get a river crossing, but they run out of time. So they get here on May the 3rd, late afternoon, exhausted, and realise they're going to they're gonna have to stand and fight here. And King Edward is coming on a pace. King Edward was very fast on the march. He's a very good soldier. So really, their backs are to the wall here. So they camp just up the way there, Amazing. in a great close called the Gastons, and await King Edward's... Uh, oncoming of the next day. What happens then after? What is um, the result? A, a total victory for King Edward. Um, he's regained his throne. Um, he was very good at this. He was very good in a crisis. He was often a lazy man in peace, but in a crisis he acted very decisively, and he did it again here. He did it here for the last time. So Tewkesbury then was his finale. Pretty his much. big moment. As a, as, as a military man, as a decisive military man, this is really when he regains his throne and from then on he's pretty well secure because the Lancastrian claimant to the throne, the young prince, poor old King Henry's 18-year-old son, is dead on the field. So Edward has no, no firm com competition anymore. Fleeing from the battle, that's what was said when Edward, Prince of Wales, ran from the Bloody Meadow, the Battle of Tewkesbury, where he was cut down by the enemy because, of course, he carried on the descent. He was the eldest son of Henry VI. If he had lived, then it meant that he would have carried on 
the line of ancestry. So he had to be killed. And it's said that he is buried here. There's a plaque that marks where his bones are. But maybe, maybe not. All we do know is that somewhere in this abbey, there are the bones of Edward, Prince of Wales. Tewkesbury Abbey has figured profoundly and largely in the Wars of the Roses, yeah? Uh, indeed, yeah. It, um, it was an attempted place of sanctuary. Um, quite a lot of the Lancastrians fleeing from the field headed here. Is that the Bloody Meadow? Well, those who didn't get caught in the Bloody Meadow seem to have somehow managed to get back into the town which may not have been that easy because they had to cross the swill gate and maybe the drawbridges were up, but it does seem they got in. They got in here and they sought sanctuary. And several of the nobles, mm -hmm. the Duke of Somerset most prominently, the Lancastrian commander, sought sanctuary in here. And King Edward's men came in and fought them in the nave, apparently. There was bloodshed within the walls. There's actually fighting here in the abbey. Apparently so. The abbot had to come out and appeal to King Edward who apparently had come in behind his soldiers and there was a big confrontation apparently and the abbot uh, you know said, for the love of God stop this fighting in the abbey stop polluting this holy place and uh, he had a few words with Edward I mean he had to be pretty careful talking to a an armed man who regarded himself as the king of England but uh, they, they, they struck an agreement that uh, the bloodshed would cease and the men who were in the abbey, the fugitives, were allowed to stay for, I think, another day or so. But then the abbot had to deliver them up. In uh, fact, there was, a, there was a deadline. They had to be delivered up to King Edward. So has this abbey seen any other military business? There was a, a lot of skirmishing in the Civil War in this area. This was a, an open town on the, the junction of two counties, Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire was for Parliament. Worcestershire had come out for the king. There was a lot of skirmishing around here. And I was told a story that someone found a matchlock musket up in the roof a few years ago. But where that went, I don't know. But um, yeah, there was a certain amount of skirmishing. But Tewkesbury, the, the, the 1471 battle was the, the big one here. And the abbey was where basically that whole battle ended. I think you could say 